Alright chat, so we're back in this skibbity toilet tower defense game, whatever you want to call it. For some reason, I just never know the names of this game, but they just decided to update. With this update, they added like a entirely new doodle crate, which kind of is a cool idea. Um, it has a hammer pencil man, aerobic C pen, uh, or wait, what did I just even call that? It has a robotic C pen, a summoner pencil man, as well as the normal pencil man. I'm curious to see how good these units are, and it's right here. As you can see, it looks like, okay, the godly, it does 14k damage per 0.4 seconds. Wow, that is insanely good. Okay, and I mean, I do um, have infinite gems. Shout out to the developers. But they gave me infinite gems for a video, so let's go ahead and unequip everything I have here because we're probably going to be spending a lot of money on this thing. And last time, it took a lot of Robux to get the Tri-Titan. But let's get this going, and my goal is to, like, open, like, I don't know, 100 of these, maybe? I'll see, 200. Um, but here's nine, so first nine down the drain. Um, not really going down anything, though, because we have infinite gems, but we got nothing. So let's go ahead and spawn again. Come on, give me the mythic, please! Okay, still nothing. Let's go ahead and equip what we have, though, because I'm going to play a match and try to win with just these units. And, bro, what are they even called? Like, they're all called pencils or something, right? Uh, I think the summoner pencil is one we have to also equip. So, yeah, we have two of them so far. I still need the robotic C pen as well as the hammer pencil, man. So, come on. Please give me the robotic C pen. Oh, there's the, uh, robotic thing. And, okay, we still haven't gotten it. So, that is not good. Um, this is, like, 40th open. So, okay, there we go. We got the C pen. Not gonna lie, bro, this C pen looks a little too close to this Tri Titan, bro. They almost like are identical. But to be honest, it looks more of like a Demogorgon uh, from Stranger Things than it does to anything else in this game. So I don't know. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and equip that too. This is actually almost as good as the Mythic. So the Mythic must do something that just makes it a lot better. And let's see what that something could be. Come on, man. Please give me the Mythic. No, we're 60 in. Come on, here's the 70th, 70th time we're opening this. Uh, okay, nothing. 80th time. Come on, mythic, mythic, mythic. And still nothing. Okay, 100th time. Dude, my luck is so bad. This is 130 times, I think. Come on. Please, dude. 140 times. And um, I am counting them by 10. And what just happened to my game? There we go. Finally, it started summoning. And give me the juice, man. Um, okay, that is not the juice. Wait, I think I know I can help this, bro. I did not even think about this. But let's go ahead and use our um, super lucky boost just like so. So now we have an hour of that. We should be chilling. And oh, wait, you can buy the doodle thing from here. Do I have the game passes? Hold up. I should have all of these. Okay, yeah, I already own this item. Good. And let's go ahead and open nine more. So this is around like 150, somewhere over there. And uh, we still have not gotten it. So if you guys are trying to get it yourself, um, don't even try to. Or maybe try to because your luck is probably better than mine. Okay, we're supposed to get it like around now, dude. It shouldn't be taking much more than this. Please give me it to me. Oh, I heard a little noise. Please. And yes, there it is. The Amber Pencil Man. It makes like a little ding noise whenever you get it. And there we go. We just got it. The Hammer Pencil Man. There it is. And I think it's only four units. So yes, we have gotten all of them. Who is this guy? Sir, get out of my server, bro. Who invited you in here? Hey, stop running around the place. Also, I'm curious to see what this is going to be. Like, I feel like they've got to be putting somewhere in this little corner, bro. But nothing has been placed yet. But there we go. That's all the four units we need. And then I'm also going to have a farm unit. So let's do the scientist. I think this is the only one I can think of. And what mode do we want to do? I would do endless, but it's like, it's kind of just like pointless to do it. Especially if we're not going to make it far. So I would rather honestly do the two turbulent train so um this is my favorite map it probably is yours too um i just love the way this map looks so let's do it in here okay let's do insane mode and i don't know if i want to try fast mode yet you know what i'll make it a challenge in my next match if i can do it in fast
class mode, then I won't have to give away one of these units. But if I do lose, then I'll have to give away one of these big dudes to you guys. And oh my god, he's massive. Okay, luckily though, one of these units is really cheap. So I can go and place down the little pencil man instantly. And he does a DPS of 300, which is um, kind of trash. But, you know, it's okay because we have farms and we can go ahead and farm in the meantime and not take any damage. I do like how his cooldown is only a second, though. So, he'll be able to, like, hold you up at the start of the game. So, he could be a possibly a good unit to use right off the bat. But why is he, like, so thick? thick bro this dude is queso's little brother he's been eating very good bro i mean just look how thick he is okay maybe if you could do as much damage as you eat bro that would be nice but um please kill them okay um we have a few things going through but that is okay i think it'll be fine at least um let's go ahead and upgrade all of our farms oh my god dude a lot of things are coming through in case those little brother is not doing enough damage i think let's go ahead and try out the summer unit as soon as we get enough cash there we go let's place him and as you can he see he summons these um what what do you even summon the pencil man's Bro, they're not doing enough damage, bro. What the heck? This unit is trash. Why is the DPS half of the other one, bro? Queso's little brother is doing better than you, man. And you look like you're straight up Queso. Okay, here he comes. And it looks like he has 250 HP. So, yeah, not good at all off of the bat. Um, I would assume he's a lot better when he's upgraded. But, dude, we're about to die. This is not good, chat. Oh, my God, that hurts. Please stop. Okay, we're barely going to be living. If we skip the wave one more time, though, I can go ahead and place down this guy for 1,000. And for some reason, he's very laggy when you're selecting him. This Demogorgon-looking thing, bro, he is very laggy. And... And come on, bro. Can we skip the wave, please? There's no way I just lost that. You know what, man? I am not taking the feet on this, bro. I am buying a revive. I am not gonna accept the feet. And there we go. Wait, I can't purchase it? Oh, my God. No way. We just lost that. Hold on. We need to try this again. Okay, I think now that we've basically established that... Oh, wait, hold on. This is the wrong game. Okay, so now that we've basically established that this uh, summoner pencil man is dog poop, um, let's go take him off the team. And not gonna lie, it does look like his cooldown gets a lot better. It goes to 0.2 seconds, but for some reason, he's just not doing that right now. So instead, what I'm gonna do is equip something that I know is gonna keep us up for a while. So, uh, what even is that thing? Honestly, I think I could just summon something. I don't need something that is too good, but I just need something that does a lot of damage off the bat. So, come on, please give me something good out of this summon and... Let's see how good the acid gunner is, I guess. Okay, never mind, dude. A lot of these are just way too expensive, but I will go ahead and equip the Tri Titan, anyways. And instead, what I'm gonna do is put some um, enchants on these guys, or I guess traits, you should call it. That's gonna make a big difference. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and roll it on, especially this guy, because um, he'll be one of the first units that we use. And please give me something decent. Oh, super pay. Oh, no, bro. Okay, anything but speed one, dude. This thing is like a glue to my avatar, bro. I cannot stop getting speed. And okay, I'll take strength too. And obviously, we want to put some on the mythic. So um, I'm just going to get whatever we can here. I'm not going to really try to get the best one. Because as you know, it takes forever. And of course, we got speed. Strength one. Please, anything but strength. Oh, my God, no. There should be, like, a way to, like, speed roll this, bro. I don't want to watch this every single time to end up being depressed. And we got speed three, which honestly isn't that bad. It doesn't even tell me what speed three does, but uh, let's go just use it. I'm pretty sure what it does is just it really uh, lowers their cooldown. So that's pretty good. And let's go go to the turbulent trains mode once again. This time, though, bro, we are winning it. Okay, this round, let's go to name fast mode so the enemies are gonna be two times faster let's see if we can do it i honestly think we should be able to do it um last round i was kind of stupid because i was trusting queso's brother but this round we're not gonna do the same so here we go let's begin by placing down queso's brother because he is the only thing we can afford at the moment and we want to have auto skip on bro this is very important to making money because uh without auto skip who knows we're probably gonna lose very fast 
And we really need to start saving up to that coin amount, bro, before we can, like, do much. So, let's place another one, and then what we can do is upgrade the scientist cameraman. Okay, I had to kind of restart because, uh, the plan wasn't working. So, now we're here, bro, and I have two of these down. I accidentally had placed one, like, right here, and it wouldn't reach anything. So, that was not good. But now we have fixed that. However, we need a thousand monies to place down this, uh, Demogorgon-looking thing. Dude, I'm calling it Demogorgon. I don't even know what it's called anymore. Um, it was like called the C pen or something. But we're we're, we're very close to having enough money. So um, let's go and just save up real quick and get it. Some stuff is probably gonna go through from this wave though. Oh no. Okay, there we go. We have enough now, and let's place it right there. Okay. The dude has a super long cooldown. Okay, that's not helpful, but um, he does do 1.2k off the bat at every 1.4 seconds. His DPS is 800, and it looks like he does have an ability, but I have to upgrade him to unlock it. Okay, let's upgrade one of these pencil men, and actually, they become a lot better on just upgrade one, dude. Like, the DPS multiplied by three, which is very good for a unit. Um, you Usually they don't do that, but this one it does, so that's not that bad. And the next unit we need to place down is just the best one, aka the Mythic. This is straight up Queso, bro. Look at how massive this guy is. He takes up so much space. I hate when units take up a lot of space just because it makes it so hard to place them down. But come on, man. Okay, let's place the Mythic right here because I need to place something down. And his cooldown is 0.96, doing 1.8k damage. That is pretty good. I don't know if these are the final stats, by the way. It could very well change by the time it releases because if you guys don't know right now i am playing this game in early access to the update so it's not even out yet if you're watching this video instantly as it comes out but it took like 200 crates to open this thing dude so um it better be worth it and i'm gonna go ahead and place one right up in the front because this dude has a pretty cool animation or wait i thought that was his animation dude i thought he had like a hammer effect and it looks like he does but what i was looking at is just the doodle effect effects around him i like how they were unique with this idea i think it's pretty cool to have like a little pencil on the dude's head even though he's probably blind now and he can't even see anything or record any of it um he has a pencil on his head that is like the biggest achievement you could have bro but yeah let's go keep upgrading these scientist cameramans so that we're making money per wave if you guys don't know i also did release a tower defense game i'll leave it linked in the description but pal tower defense is my game and um i recently released it we also have an update coming out very soon probably by the time you're seeing this video and you should definitely check it out i think you guys will enjoy it it's linked in the description and i plan to make videos on it soon but uh it just hasn't come by yet here we go let's go make this level one now and okay we're at 4,000 dps already this is really good though because his cooldown is slowly becoming lower and lower meaning he'll basically be able to hold us up for a while okay some stuff is getting through bro we need money Need police scientist camera bands. I'm gonna need y'all to clutch up. But in the next upgrade, his damage basically doubles, so that's amazing because that means he's gonna be doing double the amount of damage in the same time. And hopefully, his cooldown does go lower. I forgot how low it goes, I think it goes all the way down to 0.4, which is fantastic. But I'm gonna save up enough money so we can afford to upgrade this dude. We do have the evil overlord boss coming though, so uh, hopefully, we'll be fine. I think we should be. I'm going to set his target to the strongest just in case, but I'm so close to being able to upgrade this guy, bro, but I just still don't have enough. Okay, looks like it is killing the boss. Come on, man. It's so close and nice. It should be able to do it. Okay, it's very low on health. That's good enough. I don't think anything is going to be able to go through yet. Okay, two toilets managed to get through, but we're fine. And now we can actually go ahead and almost upgrade this guy. And there we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. And now he's doing 10,000 DPS. I still can't unlock his ability, dude. I don't know what a level I have to get him to, but it must be pretty high. I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade um, the scientist cameraman to the max level. So now we're earning 1.5k cash. Dude, did I forget to turn off two times speed? I could have sworn these toilets would go faster, bro. And there's a Strider toilet coming. Are you serious, bro? Why is it getting harder than, like, 
I'm making money, sir. I am not making enough money to be able to get to this difficulty, but let's upgrade him. Level 3, 18,000 damage, and there's his ability. Let's use it. Oh, my God. Okay, dude, he just does, like, a giant slap down ability, and it looks like the cooldown only goes to this one but okay that is a very long cooldown 230 seconds if i'm doing my math right that's like around four minutes but i do want to upgrade this robotic c pen too because um we're kind of struggling dude oh my god why what is happening okay i forgot to turn on auto skip but dude i just lost Please, no, we need to save. Okay, no, we lost. Well, as you can see, this hammer pencil man is pretty good. The only bad part about it is the fact that he is a very expensive to upgrade. Surprisingly, set to be cheaper than this uh, Tri Titan person. And I guess he's a little bit worse, so that makes sense. But to me, dude, this dude is so hard to upgrade. Maybe because I was trying to do endless mode. But yeah, he is very good. However, just like I said, very expensive to upgrade um this summoner pencil man seems to be absolutely garbage somebody please prove me wrong in the comments because there's no way it is that bad and this robotic c pen is pretty good but i didn't even get the chance to upgrade it but if i do my math right the dps of the hammer pencil man is thirty-five thousand per second when he's completely maxed out so he's really good and then he also obviously has that um big ability which for some reason it doesn't show on the lobby but he does also have that ultimate ability which is also pretty sick but if you guys enjoyed this video watch the video on the screen it is one of my best videos and make sure to play my new roblox game linked in the description but until then watch the video on the screen it's one of my best videos yet and i handpicked it for you so enjoy